Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Parish. Our celebrant today is Father Mark, assisted by Deacon John. In today's Gospel, Jesus challenges us to look past the letter of the law and to seek the true meaning of the law intended by God. Let us mediate on this as we prepare for this mystery by pausing for a moment of silent prayer. Please stand and join in our opening hymn, number 610, Rain Down, number 610. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to heal us from the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Let us pray. O 
O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water. To whichever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses, he shall be given. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all-seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear him. He understands man's every deed. No one does he command to act unjustly. To none does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they That your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature, not a wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages for our glory and of which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen and ear has not heard 
and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him, this God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all. Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, St. Paul. And good evening to all those who are at home watching on YouTube this weekend. It's good to have you with us as well. Um, This this weekend we, we hear... Readings which are encouraging us, and certainly Jesus is also encouraging us to follow God's commandments. You know, uh, uh, that was, that's a simple thing that probably most of us had to do when we were young, was we had to, we had to learn our Ten Commandments, right? That's probably one of the first most basic lessons uh, that we had in, in religious class. And in fact, I think at this Mass we even have a number of our eighth graders out there. Do we have our eighth graders who are going to be confirmed this year? Stand up if you're at this Mass, you're one of our eighth graders. Or, or... Good, good to see so many. Good to see. So the Ten Commandments was probably, uh, you guys could sit down. The Ten Commandments was probably just one of many lessons that you guys probably learned uh, uh, throughout the course of your, your religious education. And, uh, but Jesus, of course, is always about teaching us more. He wants, he wants to go beyond, you know, the, the, the simple understanding of the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament. He always wants to go and, and teach us even more beyond that. that the, the commandments are, 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 are certainly there to kind of help, you know, keep us within God's grace. If we follow those commandments, we're, we're on some pretty sure footing, I would say, if we're following those t- Ten Commandments. But God wants to take it a step further because he has a law of love. Now, we don't hear it yet in this gospel today, but eventually we will hear uh, the, what we often call the golden rule. You guys know the golden rule. It's probably another one that you had to memorize, right? So we love God with all of our heart and all of our soul and all of our strengths, and we love our neighbor as ourselves. 
And see, that, that is taking that law that God gives us, and now it's not just a list of things that we need to avoid, but now it becomes a commandment of what we need to do. It becomes, love is a, is a, is a proactive part of the law. Um, and so we're all called to, uh, you know, love thy neighbor. Um, Jesus, incidentally, often got challenged by this because in the process of loving his neighbor, he would sometimes, uh, at least to the appearance of others, be breaking one or two of the laws. You know, most notably it was when the Pharisees, uh, we talked about this a few weeks ago, when the Pharisees caught him doing something on a Sabbath. And he was healing. He was healing somebody on a Sabbath. And uh, there was another incident where his disciples were hungry, so they were feeding themselves on the Sabbath. And, and he was accused of breaking the, uh, the, the Sabbath. Oh, you're doing work on a Sunday. But no, because what Jesus was doing was he was following the greater law of love, which he's moving us all towards, right? We have to be ready for this, especially because we're, we're getting really close to love now. So he's, he is, you know, ready to take the, this learning time of, uh, of uh, these first few weeks of ordinary time and because we're going to need to be able to walk with him during this time of Lent. Things are going to get very difficult for him. It's going to be a test of our love, of our love of God, you know. Um, so we, we're always looking for practical ways, practical ways of following the law of love. Um, one of those practical ways, I'm just going to mention it very briefly at the end of my homily today, one of those practical ways is something that we do every year together along with all of the other churches in the Diocese of Joliet, and that is that we make sure that we are giving a, a loving gift to uh, the ministries of the diocese, which serve people throughout our entire um, uh, area, not only here in Joliet, but among all the counties of, of our diocese. And so probably many of you have already received and probably have already even sent back uh, a response to this appeal, which you probably got in the mail. Uh, next week will be another opportunity. If you haven't had a, a chance yet to consider a gift, next week uh, the bishop will be having a message uh, that all the parishes will be listening to next week. And, uh, and, and he's just going to ask us to very generously consider a gift to the appeal this year. And it, and it goes to help a lot of wonderful things, things that we all care about, the, uh, the education of uh, uh, priests and deacons, uh, uh, Catholic charities, um, r religious education that, that helps support our kids as they uh, learn about their faith, our, our schools throughout the diocese. So, um, you know, just take some prayerful uh, when you receive that, that envelope, whether it's by mail or, or whether you pick one up next week. And, uh, and it's an opportunity for us to respond uh, in love and, and show love in a, in a very tangible, uh, tangible way. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. Believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Mindful of God's love, we offer our petitions with confidence. For the church, that it continue to present the true revealed wisdom of God and not the wisdom of this age, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they be sensitive to the needs of their constituents, particularly the most vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For reconciliation within families which have experienced division, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community may not just respond to the letter of the law, but to the movement of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or injured, especially the victims of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria, that their hearts might be filled with peace and hope in God's healing mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially John Lucenta and the victims of the earthquake, that they may share the Lord's victory over death and live forever in the peace of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those on our parish prayer list, for the intentions in our book of prayers, and for those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, Patty Ciarini, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, ever faithful, source of all the wonders of our lives, hear these prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please help us sing the presentation song, number 632, Benedictus, number 632. Blessed be the Lord, for His wisdom for us, my dear Savior. Our God has set us free, fulfilling the promise to save His people. Through His holy prophets, He promised from of old. To save us from who would harm us, his mercy he would show, remembering his holy word. Blessed be the Lord, for he has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Our God has set us free, fulfilling to save his people. You, my child, have been chosen, a prophet of the Lord, proclaiming his forgiveness, salvation to make known, preparing the way. Blessed be the Lord, for he has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Our God has set us free, fulfilling the promise to save his people. To save his people.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of name, for our good and good of all of this holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, Daniel, our retired bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please help us sing the communion song number 364, Bread of Life. Number 364. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we do have a a few announcements uh, this this evening. Again, uh, just a, a big thank you to those who've already uh, given to the, the Catholic Ministries Annual Appeal this year. Uh, there's an opening report for the 2023 Catholic Ministries Annual Appeal in today's bulletin. Please take a moment to read how we belong to God to the mission and ministries of the Diocese of Joliet. 
and thank you for considering that prayerful pledge. Um, it's also time, that time of the year where we begin to return our old palms. So uh, if you got old palms sitting around your house, even if they're a few years old and you keep saying, oh, I'll remember to do that next year. This will be the year to do it. So uh, why don't you bring those back with you um, uh, on one of the upcoming Sundays, and uh, uh, we'll have baskets at the... In fact, there's already baskets out there to collect palms if you brought them today even. Um, Oh, something for this weekend. Our school students have created Valentine's Day cards for all of you. So please take one as you leave Mass today. You'll you'll see them out here. They're kind of like this, and uh, there's a bunch of them right up here. I believe there's more in the back, correct? They're all up here. They're all up here. If you want a Valentine's Day card, come on up here, grab one at the table today. That would have been a good idea, Father, sorry. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us end this time of worship and praise by singing number 617, Your Grace is enough, number 617. Great is your faithfulness, O God. You wrestle with the sin this heart. You lead us by still waters into the sea, and nothing can keep us apart. So remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise of God.